welcome again. Today I'm going to talk about my Geiger counter. This can be dangerous, so pay attention to the details. But before we go wild, let's see how it's made. The PCB was designed by Altium Designer. Pretty cool stuff, especially the 3D view. As you can see, there are not many components. The schematic is also quite simple. Includes header for the ESP8266 and OLED display and we've got programmer header, buttons for reset and programming. We have LEDs and trimmer. To power up this Geiger counter 3.3 volt is enough but I wanted wide range for input and the DC-DC converter can handle voltage from 7 to 36 volts. We have a high voltage part also. The ESP is using PWM around 2.5 kHz to reach about 500 volt for the tube. And here is the counter pin. Thankfully, Brohogen has very detailed description to this Geiger counter including fully detailed parts list. OLED display pinout variation on the market just to be sure you won't miss it. PCB layout example to buy. Internet connections to upload your result and so much more. He provides the code as well for Arduino IDE. But as always, I only use it as reference, because I modify it to serve me better. I don't know since I've built this, he has new code, but the interrupt needed to be changed for ESP core. I also changed the way how it connects to Wi-Fi. I have my own code for this, what I prefer. As well, I have my own ThingSpeak account but he even provides option for your own ThingSpeak. Top of this, he created a group for this project and if you want to, you can join by sharing your data with uh, this website where the data has been collected from around the world to show a global result of background radiation. I have a link below in the description. On my website, you can find my live data. The link to my website also available down below. There are plenty other projects on it. Let's go back to the PCB. As I said, the PCB was designed by Altium. But I haven't ordered it from PCB manufacturer. I've used the Gerber files to make the PCB by hand. During the design, I've had to replace some parts because I couldn't buy them from UK, especially the high voltage parts. You probably can notice I designed it with two possibilities for the two types of the OLED screen. The yellow wire is a modification for the buzzer because I have 3.3 volt everywhere and the buzzer needs 5 volt. I added the control transistor after the design with the 5 volt yellow wire. After I made it first time, I was thinking how I'm gonna test it. It's been designed to detect gamma radiation. This type of the radiation is the most dangerous type. I didn't want to buy plutonium or uranium. To be honest, I don't think so, it is legal to buy. But I needed something radioactive to test this. After a little research, I've seen solution. You can buy from eBay thorium gas mantle. Not too long ago, this gas mantle was used to cover the gas lantern. And when it starts burn, it shines up. The thorium was added to increase the brightness. This is the SBM20 radiation detector tube, straight from Russia. By the way, the thorium is the radioactive material. The polarity is important. One side gets 500 volt, 
the other side is the detector. Oops, I don't want to break it. There's a glassy inside. Let's turn it on. Here is the famous clicking sound. Every time a gamma particle hits the tube, the ESP detects it on interrupt and the buzzer clicks. Even the background radiation is between 7 to 30 CPM, aka count per minute. Let's bring the thorium closer. As you can see, this gas mantle has high radiation from relatively close distance. Even from few centimeters, the amount of the radiation is negligible. I have a nice transparent cover for this box. That's all folks, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please subscribe. See you next time.